Good morning. It's another day and I'm late for work again. Today's gonna be a good day. I've got the title for the Corvette coming. And I have someone coming to look at the motorcycle, that's right. But first, I gotta go to work, make that money. The guy came and looked at the motorcycle. He's interested in it. He's gonna let me know in the next one to two months if he's gonna get it. If I sell it before then, then I sell it before then. If not, he said he might be interested and he might take it. Well, I'm super excited today because I'm gonna take this. This is the folder for my 2004 Kia Spectra and turn it into this, which is gonna be the folder for my 1996 Chevy Corvette. So the story behind the Corvette is the guy, he was driving through town, he broke down, and he didn't know what was going on. So me, as a mechanic, I was like, hey, let me check it out. So I checked it out, blown head gasket, and the rear main seal is out. So it's just pouring oil everywhere. And it was overheating, and he's just like, I don't know what to do with this, I need to get back to Arizona. I was like, well, let me see what I can do. So. I said, I just got this Kia, which I did. I had just gotten that Kia like maybe a month or two before that. And I said, I have this Kia, I can trade you and I can pay you the difference of what you think the car is worth. And so that's what we did. We traded the Corvette for my Kia and then a little bit of cash I paid him extra because the Kia was only, we decided the Kia was worth about 1500 bucks at the time, but now, I officially have the Arizona title for the 96 Corvette. Seven months, seven months it took to get this, but I finally have it. It's signed, I'm gonna go get it titled in my name tomorrow. There it is, 1996 Chevy Corvette. Now I can put all the paperwork inside this folder and I can get rid of the 2004 Kia Spectra folder. Here it is, Kia Spectra. I missed the trash can. 2004 Kia Spectra, 1996 Chevy Corvette. I just need to take this down to the DMV tomorrow, and I'll be able to drive the Corvette. And not very far because it needs the exhaust put back on, and it's got a leak on the rear main, and the driver's side rear brake line is leaking. But other than those three things, and the seat's not bolted down, and the interior's torn apart, and the engine's not completely put back together, and it probably needs a new belt. But other than those things, it should be ready to go, and I should be able to drive it. And two coolant flushes, because he put stop leak in there, and I'm going to make sure that all that stop leaks out. There's still a little list of things to do before I can actually drive that car, but I don't have to do any of it to be able to drive it legally. Mm, the exhaust. I should probably put the exhaust back on before I drive it. I don't need to have any fires in the engine compartment. Alright, I got a little more work done in the shed, just cleaning stuff up. I want to thank you guys for watching. Thanks for liking the videos. Thanks for subscribing. I'll see you tomorrow.